All right, shalom, shalom, brothers. It's Brother Kamal Mahar here, back at it again. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim, Kakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders, I'm going to truth from GMS. Blessing to the Akimah there, preaching his word, with heart to sincerity. Blessed 144,000, one third entirely. The first fruits, kingdom of heaven, house of David, that be after I would die. And shalom to you, brothers, that they're speaking different tongues and looking at different nations. Shalom to you, brothers. Um, before I get into my video, brothers, uh, which I was going into about doing the work and, um, you know, not taking your hand off the plow, uh, laying back it off, off the camp with my brothers on Saturday. Uh, but before I, I, I uh, put this video up, I, I do want to state one thing. So uh, amongst Israel, there is a situation where um, I guess there was a decree or so about giving double honors to the elders and apostles or something like if you're doing that, you have to be in Great Millstone or GMS or whatever. Um Hey, listen, um, you know, I, I don't really get down all like that or whatever. Uh, I am an affiliate camp under the doctrine of GMS for sure. Uh, I do. I, I am full fledged uh, by faith. I uh, believe that that's 100 percent truth on that side and it's accurate as, as old hell uh, through the spirit and the power. Of but um, scriptures tell us to, to, to give double honors to our elders. And so I'm going to can still I'm going to continue to still do that. Uh, because of the fact that I did learn um, all my knowledge and through the spirit and power of Yahweh Yahusha through GMS, so the scriptures tell me to do so, and I'm going to do that. But as far as like you know, having to go switch up or make a certain move or so just for a title or a name, I don't really uh, not gonna really base on that. But I will be I will be preaching the truth. I will be teaching. And giving breaking bread with brothers, and and also uh, giving daily bread, and keep doing his work up, because that's what Yahweh Shimei Shah wants you to do. We're not pleasers of, of of men; we're pleasers of Yahweh Shimei Shah. So I wanted to get that out, out off my chest for a second. So you know, moving forward, I, I will still be double honors because I have to give respect due um, from the Lord and Yahweh Shah um, through these men to give me the, the, the correct doctrine and the word and to be able to do what I can do right now. So it's just a respect thing. It makes sense. So I'm going to continue to do do so. So in this video, I wanted to, I wanted to get in right here, brothers. I wanted to land back off the camp I have Saturday because right now um, I'm going to be doing more videos now because I'm no longer in Philadelphia. I'm at, I'm at um, you know, far away from home. Um, so, um, you know, my camp knows. And so I'll be uh, on the highways and hedges with my brothers on Saturday until – uh, further notice down the line, but as of right now, this is where I'm going to do the move, do most of my work again on the, on, the, on the videos and on the highways and hedges with my brothers on Saturdays. Now, by doing the work, brothers, um, you know, count yourself, um, you know, uh, uh, very, very blessed, and also uh, just know that you're in a, a real um, high, uh, what you would call esteemed spot. Um, like my brothers would get into, you know, you put yourself to a position where you. Like it's basically, and I agree with they're saying. You basically, or it is what it is. You took another oath to teach, teach, teach the word, right? So, and by teaching the word, it's no going back from that. You're now um, in the high seat of a teacher, and you're in. But the beautiful thing about being a teacher um, and breaking down the scriptures and things of that nature, as far as depending on what topic that we're talking about. Uh, you're also putting yourself in a very great position to be a part of the 144,000 um, elect. So out of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Indians of, of, of men. So 144,000 is only men. But by being a teacher and a prophet of the Lord and a servant of the Lord and speaking the word, the, the, the Lord's words um, to the public and on these videos and how many highways and hedges, you are pretty much putting yourself in a position to potentially, Lord willing, be a part of the 144,000. Uh, that's it. A great honor it's the best on the top of the food chain it's a wonderful thing to man but that's either here or there i'm just saying on the on the reward side that's what you're facing and, that, that, and that's the position that you're putting yourself into to have such glory and honor on that on, the, on that other end after salvation when, when you get beamed up now on the, on the flip side you know on the other side is also a higher responsibility um because now you are a shepherd to amongst a lot of sheep now um through through your how about you know so you want to you know stay on your game because one thing i do agree um that my brother my brother samak was saying was the fact that um you know 
some brothers, uh, and I'm one of them, some brothers get 100 views, some brothers get 300 views, 1,000 views, have such and such subscribers, and some brothers get five views and down. I'm one of them. I, I might get a one or two to 10. I've seen 96 views. I've seen 100. I've seen 50. I've seen 30. Uh, but what's very true is you don't know out of any of them views, and even if it was just one, that it could be a party elect or you was actually your videos or what you producing through the spirit is pretty much, you know, what another brother might need to hear um, on his day to day or, you know, throughout the week. You know what I mean? So you got to look at that, too. You know, a lot of brothers or you or me are are pretty much, you know, comforting brothers. And you got to look at it from that perspective, too. So. You know what I mean? And I look at it from the same thing because uh, there's plenty of brothers that I can think of that I watch um, as well um, that I actually look forward to to see a new video or so for a daily uh, uplifting or enlightenment through through Yahweh Bashim Uh Like I keep bringing the brother up. You know what I mean, he, uh, the Lord blessed him with um, being able to make a video and with, with special effects and um, visuals. Um, the brother's name is not Zak Yumyun. So he he brings out um, a lot of stuff on spiritual power and the kingdom of heaven and a visualization, a visual visualization of what we're going to be living like and just a depiction of what the kingdom of heaven is going to be, the lifestyle, um, the riches, the wealth, the women, the you know, and I mean women in a good way in this perspective, not on this side, on the kingdom side. So it's a whole other ball game, but it's a you know, it's a beautiful thing, and it, 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 it comforts me. So, you know, let me just bring out, bring out my first script, um, Luke 9 and um, 62 at the bottom. It says, And Yahweh shall said unto him, No man having put his hand on the plow, looking back, is fit for the kingdom of heaven. So you you, you got to also, you know, be mindful of that too, because now it's like you, you can't start a job and then quit and then try to get back on the bandwagon. Now, if the Lord accepts you back... <laughs> It's just to say if you're in a situation where you, you've you been on the highways and hedges, you've been doing videos every week, or you, you're doing what you're doing for the spirit, and then you take a month off or two months off or whatever, or however it goes, if the Lord allow you back in the fold, great. But it also does say that you're not fit for the kingdom of heaven if you take your hand off the plow. And so this is going to, this is, this is going to be a uh, constant, um, diligent, and very, very consistent um uh, situation all the way up until Yahweh Shah, uh, the Lord sends Yahweh Shah and the angels to at least give us Amos 8 and 11 where the family of the word. We're not going to not go. We're not going to be able to stop until Amos 8 and 11 comes, which is the family of the word of hearing of the word. Right. So that's just one of them things where you got you got to you have to get to consider there is no turning back until there is an ending point. There is. You know, there's going to be a point in time in the near future where we're not going to be able to we're not going to be able to preach anymore. But there's no, it shouldn't be no month to three week gap of preaching the word from a highways and hedge, hedges standpoint or videos or however you go about it. Like I had a point where I was, you know, going out way more throughout the week than my videos. So you know, so I might not put up a video every day, but I was out with highways and hedges with my brothers. So I was just doing that. But you know, it, it just it's just a balance of how you moving. You know what I mean? So right now, it's, I'm warranted more on the videos now. And so, you know, but at the end of the day, though, you have to, you know, you have to continue on doing this work because, you know, you're not fit for the kingdom if you fall back. And you are, you can be uh, fit for the kingdom and be a part of 144,000, which a lot of us brothers or all of our brothers, all of us brothers that's teaching this word, our top, our top um, desire is salvation to ultimately be one of those brothers. You know what I mean? Be on a throne beside Yahweh Shah and Yahweh judging the 12 tribes of Israel on thrones, man. Imagine you on a throne. Well, doing his work, you know what I mean? Is what's going to get you there. But, you know, this is about, you know, just, you know, you got to keep doing your thing. And it's, 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 a, it's a grind and it's a it's a risk. But but for every high risk has high rewards. Right. So let me go to um, like Second Timothy. You know what I mean? Like. Look, uh, matter of fact, Second Timothy um, four and two. 
Um, it says, preach the word, be in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. So when it says preach the word, be instant, be ready at all times to, to preach the word. Like if somebody got a question for me and about an Israelite this or that or whatever about the doctrine, hey, I'm, I'm going to be willing to right now answer that question. And then it says in season, out of season, meaning all four seasons, there is no break in between. It ain't like you take summer off. It's not summer and a spring and then the fall and then the, well, spring, then summer, then the fall and the winter. And it keep rotating until we don't be preaching no more. There is no pretty much no, no, no time to be falling back with this one. You got to keep it rolling. That's why right here it says, uh, um, let me go to our book of Isaiah. Um, I didn't bring this one out in a minute, but it's a pretty good land back. Uh, Isaiah 62, and um, we can start at, uh, or it's 3, might be 61. Not, nah, it is. 60, 62, starting at um, uh, 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, the men of the Lord. O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. There's videos going out daily, nightly. 24 hours a day, there's a there will be a new update for some brother in the world that's preaching his word. And it says, um, ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. No, we ain't we gonna keep on rocking. The Lord gave us the authority and the ability to preach his word with no interruptions. Right now, this is a no interruption period that we can freely freely preach the word when nobody got to shoot us or come on to us or stop us like no the lord got to a time period where he wanted his men to shine bright when, when it come to these videos and how and hedges we set on high right now we're highly protected it's clear to see and it says uh, verse seven here's the point and give him no rest till we establish until we make jerusalem a praise in the earth we ain't a praise in the earth right now so that means we got to keep rolling and keep rolling and keep rolling we a praise yet nope keep rolling keep rolling yahushua came back nope keep rolling amos 8 and 11 nope keep rolling it's a keep on rolling thing don't stop until you until we are established established as it says see that so we're gonna keep it rocking you know what i mean at the end of the day though you have to understand now me i'm i'm a like me you know what i'm saying brothers can take take my style of play of mindset you know brothers when i actually put these videos up i will applaud you to write these write these uh, precepts down um pretty much uh look at them re-watch the video and understand where i'm coming from which is pretty you know lord willing is edifying in the first place so you get it but write these precepts down man you know study you know what i mean get, you know uh you know step the game up and more knowing more precepts and knowing Knowing more breakdowns and knowing more precepts it makes you more sharper to defend the gospel. And I also highly recommend another thing, brothers. I've been getting into, which, you know, not saying I just started, but in a way, I've been getting back to reading entire books. You know, reading the entire Romans and reading the entire Isaiah and read the entire, you know, first five. Like, you know, to read the whole thing out there along with your understanding through the scriptures from the Rakak with Dash, the Holy Spirit, you can be able to be like, okay, so you know a precept, you know a breakdown, right? You know what it means, you know what it's referring to, but it's a real delight to be able to make yourself a lot more sharper when you can read the entire book up into the precepts you know of already. That is, then, then what happens is, it's, it's common sense, what we'll do is, through the Spirit, it will give you a, oh, so that's what's happening in that time period, why Israelites were acting like the way they were acting, what king was in rule, the particular prophet that you was dealing with, his story, where he journeyed from, and why, and why he fleed, or, it's really interesting to understand the scriptures in total, so you can get the environmental time frame, the mindset, and the story story aspects of where brothers was at and why they were doing what they were doing to be able to defend it even a lot, a lot more. Because you got to understand mindsets in certain situations to understand, too. It all come with doing the work. You know, making these videos and doing the work, you'll sharpen yourself. And you'll see it. It'll be like, yo, things will pop out on you. It's a beautiful thing. Um, but, yeah, I wanted to bring that out. Uh, let's bring out uh, Second Peter. Um, and here we go. I bring this out a lot, but it's, it's, it's very uh, warranted. Here's here's my side of it. Now, what I was trying to get into, brothers, is I'm a I'm a I'm a honey brother. That's me. I'm honey. I'm I'm the sweet side of scriptures. I know about the hard work it takes. I know about the highways and hedges. I know about the elements and being in the cold and the heat. I know about doing the work. But me, I'm comforted by the reward that's coming. See, I keep my eye on what's to happen and what's to come. 
right? So it says, but but first you got to do this. Now, this is very tough. First, Second Peter 1 and 10. Uh, I bring this out a lot in 11. For It says, wherefore the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling election sure, for if you do these things, you shall never fall. Now, when it comes to diligence, that's a disciplined scenario of a word. You got to be disciplined to keep it rolling. And you got to fight through things. Yo, yo, um, shit, I tell you what, brothers, I ain't the only one. There's days where you just dumb tired, long day. And I had plenty of days where I just was dumb tired and went to sleep and then told myself, hope, Lord willing, I get a video in tomorrow. Or I might fight through and get the video in, feeling dirt tired during the video, Lord willing, it was edifying, and then went to sleep from there. But then you will feel a lot more accomplished. Like my brother Ari, I would say, man, I will agree. The Lord looking for fighters, man. Looking for fighters and no excuses, man, through the hard situations just to continue this work. Who going to fight through the thing? But by going through the situation, right, uh, uh, matter of fact, let me go back. Before, before I finish this, let me go back to 2 Timothy again for the exact reason what I'm saying. 2 Timothy 4 and, like, let me go to uh, 5. It says, but watch thou in all things, right, endure afflictions. Do the work of an evangelist and make full proof of thy ministry. You see that right there? That's very, very important. You're going to have to endure, do afflictions. And what's the affliction? Some of the days you super tired and, you know, you probably ain't read all day or you, uh, I'm not, no, I don't know what you didn't do, but you didn't do enough for the Lord that day. And you find yourself on a 12 hour shift coming home after a long day and, it's just like, damn, like, you know what I mean? Get like that, you know what I'm saying? We in the flesh, it is what it is. But at the same time though, you know, just don't make it a habit of calling yourself too tired and not being able to do the work. Or take a sacrifice when you break or something, which a lot of times breaks are very, very um, uh, needed and pleasurable whenever you working for, you know, say you got hard labor and you, you look forward to that 15 minutes of a fallback. Would a video be will, will be wise? Probably not, but you're going to have to get it in at some point, right? So, you know, and another thing too, brothers, um, while doing this work, which is very important, remember, you know, as you keep going into the, into, into, these, into, the, into the scriptures, you start getting, you know, the Lord start revealing more and more to you. You start understanding the, the wisdom and the, the tranquility of the scriptures too. Like, for example, don't put yourself into a dungeon. If this brother can throw up five videos a day or this one brother going out all week, don't try to compare yourself to another brother like you, you less than or whatever. It don't work that way. The Lord gave a measure, to, gave a specific measure to each brother to be able to do whatever it is he was meant to do. Just because this brother put up five videos a week and you put up just two don't mean you're not going to deliver, big dog. It don't work that way. Um. So let me go back to um, 1 Peter, 2 Peter uh, 1 and 10. It says, Wherefore, the rather brethren, give diligence to make your calling election sure, for if you do these things, you shall never fall. For so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah. See what I mean? And this is what I mean by me being a honey brother. Like, I look at the, 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 the diligence and the calling election sure and the work and the grind and the grunt force of the situation. That's part of the game. That's come with the territory. Just like how when I play football, you know, brothers won't laugh at me because I always bring up football examples. But listen, you got the you got the three days of camp, you got the off season for the four months, then, then you got the three days, two a day practices in the heat, you know, grinding, falling, getting tackled, just oh man, it's a, it's a grind. But then when the season come, when those games come, those are the reward. That touchdown, that W, that win, that championship, that ring. That's why you're fighting so hard throughout that process to get to that point. Same thing with this one. This is this this is the honey part of the thing. You want to stay locked down because you want to entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah. That's why we're doing this work to be ultimately delivered and to be welcomed into the kingdom of heaven um, with Yahweh Shah. Same body, same spiritual power. Just a beautiful, just a, just excellent. Just bro, it just it just. See what I mean? Why why not comfort yourself with the with the honey? But the thing is though, brothers, when it comes to the minute when to this ministry, you also have to have the tranquility on both sides. You all gotta understand the ups and down aspect to it. You gotta understand that's gonna be popping and negatives at the same time. 
positive negatives it's gonna go like a roller coaster brothers get a, 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 like four w's in a row two l's in general another two l's and another two l's and you want an l streak and you want a www then it's a w clear across the board then a minor l you get my point that's what Ciroc 2 goes into but at the same time man doing this work is exactly what you're supposed to do to keep this thing rolling and also to make you call the election sure and I'm going to end off with this last precept, which is pretty much like, psh, man, you can't beat this one. So look at this. After everything we just said, let's go into this. So let's go second address seven, and we're going to end off with this. Um, uh, let's go to six. There is also another thing. A city is built and set upon a broad field and is full of all good things. The entrance thereof, right? The entrance thereof is narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall, like as if there was a fire on the right hand and on the left a deep water. So it's a skinny path that you're walking on and you got a big fire and a big body of water. That's some scary stuff, man. Some scary shit, right? And it says, it says, and, the, and only, and it says, and one only path between them both, even between the fire and and of the and the water so small that there there could but one man go there at once so that's like you just basically like you know you got to take one step at a time if it's if an inch by inch step or is a a foot by foot step you got to take your time and slow your roll and, and just keep just keep it pushing which it was aka going into doing this work and, and keep it grinding because it's, it's because we're in Babylon, we're in captivity, and we're surrounded by high risk by doing this work. That's what it's going into, and temptations, and and sin, and lust, and deceitfulness, and all this bullshit is what the left and the right hand side is going into. Not to mention, remember the first, remember the first, uh, the first death was by water, and the second is by fire. Remember that too as well. Now here, let me let me go ahead. Um, now nine. Here's the point. Remember, Second Peter one, Second Peter one and ten says, "Be uh, therefore, brethren, make you, uh, be diligent, and make your make your calling less and sure by the works you're doing by keeping moving and being diligent." Right, and right here now, 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 granted, it says, "If this city was now were given unto a man for an inheritance," right. Remember, the second part was by by doing his work and being diligent, you shall never fall. But in so you will be welcome into an entrance into a, into the kingdom of heaven abundantly in the everlasting kingdom of Yahweh Shah. Right. Boom. So this is the, this is the same city it's talking about. But it says if the city were network were now given unto a man for inheritance, if he never shall pass the danger set before it. How shall he receive his inheritance? So if you ain't really putting the work in, you in, you didn't endure afflictions like Second Peter was getting into as well. Endure afflictions, make proof of all, make proof of, of thy ministry. Do the work of an evangelist. What it was getting into, roughly paraphrasing. If you're not doing the work and going through the struggles and the ups and downs with the brothers and the highways and hedges in these videos, then how are you going to be able to? earn the kingdom of heaven if you ain't go through nothing you got to go through something in order to do something you have to go through a 40 to a 80 a 80 80 hour week to get that paycheck you if you don't clock in you're not getting no bread it's just it's just how that works man and if you quit you wasn't even worthy in the first place i brought this out as edifying to you brothers lord willing and give all praise honor, and glory to you how about shim yahushah by shim kakwadashi how he is to be exist by shim in the name and the only begotten son the lord and savior yahushah by shim in the name and the holy spirit of kakwadash double honors to the apostles and elders learn the truth from blessings to the occupant of preaching his word with horror to sincerity blessing 144,000 one third entirely the elect the first fruits kingdom of heaven asa david wf da wada and shalom to you brothers they're speaking different tongues and looking different nations shalom to you brothers